what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we got to talk about some potential wrestling spoilers ahead and some news involving carlito and the backstage heat he's received over his comments on monday night raw let's get right into this one i saw this earlier on twitter i was like up oh, i definitely have to make a video talking about it so this is from wrestlemania.com it's rumored goldberg will interfere in gunther's match at crown jewel this is via wrestle votes on a weekly q and a so that is the rumor that goldberg will interfere at gunther's match uh in gunther's match at crown jewel now reason why this potential rumor has some type of weight to it it's simple the saudi government the saudi officials anytime they do these wwe shows they love goldberg they don't care how many matches he didn't had that weren't good over there how many botches he didn't had that that were pretty bad over there they don't they don't give a damn about that it's goldberg his name has weight to them and they want to see him we did recently see after bad blood because he was at bad blood they had their interaction where gunther was talking trash to goldberg and goldberg hopped the barricade and was about to get into some action you know they wwe uh, um had their talks with him i believe uh i don't know if triple h had said it but it was basically implied that you know they would try to set something up in the future and here's the thing about this. Like I said, this has some weight to it, mainly because the Saudi government love Goldberg. So I can easily see them saying, hey, we want to see Goldberg there. And they already have a storyline they could place him in. Do I want to see it? No, I don't. I, I really don't. Do I think there is going to be some type of interference in this match? for sure whether it's cody or maybe even the rock i said cody whether it's kevin owens or maybe even the rock i do see some type of interference that will essentially cost cody rose to match that's kind of the general consensus i think a lot of us i think gunther will be the person that gets to win it won't be a clean win but he'll get the win over cody most likely but if this is true if this is really true, which there is a plausibility to this, and Goldberg interferes and costs Gunther, or potentially costs Gunther to win, once again, that's a way to get Gunther out of a, a clean loss. And I don't like it. I don't, because what? We're going to set up a Gunther versus Goldberg match? I don't want to see that. And it's already rumored that Gunther's going to be going against CM Punk, so when we're going to set that match up? That's why I'm like, if it does happen, I, I don't want to see it happen because it's it just makes no sense for it to happen. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to see it happen. I'm just being honest with you. I, I don't want to see it happen. If it does happen, I, I would prefer that if you're going to have someone interfere, it's going to be on the behalf of Cody and messing over Cody rather than Gunther because you're trying to build Gunther even more as this credible champion on Monday Night Raw. So, if you're going to do that, yes, you can have an out of Goldberg attacking him, but once again, where does that lead? Do we have a match with Goldberg and Gunther? No, I don't want to see that. I don't think a lot of people want to see that. No, because it should be a glorified squash match. The same way Roman packed up uh, Goldberg should be the same way that Gunther pack up Goldberg if that was to happen. It's a waste of time. No. But could it possibly happen? Yes. Because they're going to Saudi. So I don't know, guys. It's it's not looking too too up and up for Gunther potentially winning this match. I, I just hope it doesn't happen. But knowing WWE and their ties with the Saudi government, I can see that happening. I just can't wait for them to be done with this with these damn shows and i hope they don't add another deal granted once again it ain't just only about wwe now it's about ufc the you know, you know endeavor tko all that that plays a part so if the saudi government hey we'll do another five to ten years we'll give you even more money 
I don't know if this I don't know if we're gonna be getting rid of them anytime soon. So we'll see. But I do not like this at all. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about uh Goldberg potentially being involved in the Cody versus Gunther match and maybe being the reason why Gunther ends up losing. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest with you. Next, we gotta talk about what's been going on with Carlito. He's in some hot water. He has some backstage heat with his recent comments on Monday Night Raw. Uh, Raw. So, why Carlito reportedly has backstage heat in WWE? Explain. This is on Sports Kita. And I've been seeing it all over my timeline, so I wanted to com combine the both topics. Carlito has been uh, reportedly dealing with some backstage heat after a segment he had with Raw GM Adam Pearce on the October 21st episode of the uh, other rare brand, more specifically the 45-year-old wrestler supposedly went off script speaking to EO Sky and Kyrie Sane of Damage Control when the latter walked out Pierce's office. I gotta learn Chinese, Carlito said before starting his segment with Adam Pierce. The former United States champion received a lot of backlash from fans for his comments who took a shot at him for the remarks, calling it racist since both EO and Kyrie are Japanese. The line was allegedly off script and WWE personnel were surprised with reports suggesting that there was backstage heat on Carlito afterward. That line was unscripted. That was from Carlito. There was some heat on Carlito for it. I know speaking to people I talked to, it did take them by surprise. So we'll see what happens out of it. I don't know how big of a deal they're going to make it, but probably not a great look for Carlito, WrestleVotes said in a Q&A with Bill Apter on Backstage Pass. Um, the question in whether uh, Carlito would, uh, would could, uh, on, on Carlito, who could leave the Judgment Day going forward, might be sanctioned by Triple H versus Marks and going off script. I got to learn chi Chinese, as he said, as Car uh, as EO and Kyrie walked out. Um, and I think, uh, what did Carlito say in the backstage segment with Adam Pierce? I think this is more of a retelling of it, um, but we pretty much got the gist of it. Um, but yeah. Even when I watched that segment live, I was just like, I don't know about that one. I was like, I uh, I don't know about that one. I don't that mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> and the reason why I say I don't know about that, I get his character is kind of like a bumbling idiot. So he just, you know, he'd be saying stuff that doesn't make sense or whatever, or, you know. He's kind of a goof character. So the the offline of I gotta learn Chinese, even though they're Japanese, it I get it fits in his character, but he probably shouldn't have said that. Now, here's the thing. Do I think it should be a very big deal and you know the people giving him a whole bunch of outrage? Me personally, no. I think it was just a harmless, harmless joke in character. He thought was going to ring off and get some people to really laugh. But ultimately, it comes off a little bit more offensive. Definitely on the racist side because that's not who they are. And if it gives credence to a line that Vince McMahon would direct him to say, to be honest with you. So when he said it, it's kind of wild. I don't even know if y'all remember. I believe Adam Pierce looked at him kind of weird like, yo, you really said that? So personally, I don't think he should have said it. But I don't think... You know, people coming at him on Twitter and on social media with his all hate outrage. I don't know if that's warranted, but I get it. It's a different time period. It's a very different time period. He shouldn't have said it, um, especially if he went off script. Oh, no, nah, that's not the off script moment to say to get a, a potential joke out of it. I think the idea of him saying that, um, that Ray should uh face gunther that's the joke that you needed the scripted part of that that's the funny part but saying that as a passing line i i probably would have avoided because he's getting some heat for it he's getting some heat for it and this kind of falls on him if he's the one that came up with this and it wasn't directed to for him to say this is on him thinking he was going to get a little bit more alive so people weren't going to trip over but once again you're literally you know, well, not you know, but your character 
can't tell if the Japanese or Chinese it it does give off a a racial stereotype like we can't tell the difference back then back in the day no one would have cared about this one line now it's a different time period and people are going to feel some type of way it's you know i don't want to be insensitive to people who you know are japanese or who are chinese that may hey bro come on but at the same time i also know that once again we're in a different time period and people don't take certain jokes the same way they used to so this is bad on carlito i don't think he should be getting too much hate yeah people should be like hey that wasn't a good one. If anything, yeah, that wasn't a good joke that you was trying to get off. I don't know about that one, but uh, I don't. I, I know some people are saying he should. You know, I've seen people say on Twitter he should lose his job. It's, no, I think there was a mistake, and you know, hopefully, you know, if anything, should apologize to them. Like I'm sorry for the offensive line. I, you know, I that was messed up. I thought it was gonna be funny. If anything, apologize to them if they feel some type of way. If they don't care then it is what it is you know what i'm saying so y'all let me know how y'all feel about it do y'all feel like carlito should be getting punished for what he said or do y'all think it was it was a lapse in judgment it shouldn't be that big of a deal and you know if if eo and Kyrie feel some type of way maybe he apologized to them but it shouldn't be that big of a deal y'all let me know how y'all feel about it but i appreciate all the love support y'all showing on channel road 2 150k appreciate y'all kicking the memes see y'all next one peace